to Jesus. What a good God we serve. I welcome you to the second, the fourth day of our ongoing media prayer and word conference. It has been a time of grace. It has been a time of the release of God's word. God has been answering our prayer and today will not be an exception. I want you to believe God and trust God even as we go into worship then go into the word of God and then we pray. God is going to appear for us like never before. Just as he has been doing greater things he will yet do this day. Be expectant because God will meet you at the very point of your name. Are you ready? Will you lift your hands as we begin to worship the Lord? The doer and maker of all things. He is the one that can bless us this morning. He is the one that has been blessing us. Will you lift your voice? Will you lift your hands and begin to magnify that God? God is awesome. God is great. Lift your hands, give him praise. Lift your hands, worship him. Lift your hands, magnify him. What a good God we serve. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God, we magnify you. Awesome God, we glorify you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be exalted. Jesus, we magnify you. Jesus, we bless your name. Jesus, we magnify you. You are lifted high. You are lifted high. You are lifted high. You are lifted high. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We join the 24 elders this morning to say, Hello, when be your name. Thank you for what you are doing already. Thank you for what you've been doing, oh God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You are worthy, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Let somebody speak to God and say, Lord, send us your word again this morning. More than you have ever do, Lord, send us your word. Jesus, send us your word. We need your word today. Lord, we ask for the release of your word. Psalm 107 verse 20 made us to know that to send us your word, your word heal us, your word deliver us from destruction. Jesus, send us your word today. Send us your word today. Bagido Shiketo Gabradia. Dozule Bondo Sipregedista. Lube Zota. All over the world, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Makapo Suntelia Balaba. Gagodogolobo. Gagodogolobosa. Malabolobosa. Malabalaba. Barado Dolo Suntaliba. Ibroko Doso Pregedista. Mandala balaba, bara gadu se gerebosa, indu sa te geria na mando doblo dia, melo sotoria. Send us your word today, send us your word today, send us your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like. Can we have the volume of the keyboard, please? Ale, 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 ale. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are I lift her up. Hallelujah. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Ale, 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 ale. You are I lifted up. Oh, yeah, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Ale, 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 ale. Oh, Lord, you are I lifted up. Oh, yeah, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. You reign, you age and Zion King, Sado, you are mighty on your throne, you reign, oh Lord, you reign. You 
you are mighty, you are mighty. You reign forever, you reign. You ancient Will you lift your hand, lift your voice? Hallelujah, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty, you reign, oh Lord, you reign. You reign forever, more mighty God. We call this. You reign Zion's King. Kado, Kado, Kado. Christ, we are praying. Father, today we have gathered again at your feet. In this media pray, word and prayer conference, only you can bless us. Nobody can bless us the way you will do. And this morning, we ask for the release of your power to back up your word. Amen. Put your word in my mouth, Amen. even like never before. Amen. Let it distill upon the heart of men Amen. like the dew. Amen. This morning, in the name of Jesus, Amen. let every chain be broken. Amen. Let there be deliverance by your word. Let there be healing by your word. Let there be understanding by your word. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let your power come alive here. Amen. And in every home where this is washed today, let miracles, let signs, let wonders come after in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even as we gather, 
Amen. Do great and mighty things in our life. Amen. Show us your favor. Amen. Show us your mercy. Amen. Let mercy speak for us this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And somebody will shout a louder, Amen. Amen. This morning, I have God's word for you. And very briefly, I will be sharing before we pray on what I have titled Enforcing Divine Protection for a Greater and Better Half 2020. Enforcing Divine Protection. My dear, there is need for you to know how to enforce divine protection. I'm going to be showing you what God said, I will tell you this morning. Your protection is sure. Your protection has been assured. Amen. If you are a child of God, your protection is sure. Your protection is sure. Because protection is children's bread. Jesus said, we will not give that which is children's bread to a stranger. So, if you are a child of God and you are watching me, protection is your heritage. That God will keep you, that God will watch over you, is what God has covenanted to do. And that is what He will do. I want you to believe God with me today that this morning, for the next six months, we are going to enforce divine protection that will ensure. That you and your family are divinely covered, are divinely pro protected, are divinely preserved Amen. from the scourge of, you know, COVID-19. Get ready. Because God is willing, Amen. God is able, Amen. and God is ready to protect you and, your, and yours. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For our text this morning, let's open our Bible to... Psalms chapter 91, verse 1, beginning. We are going to read a long scripture this morning because in it we will discover a lot of things that God has already made provision for. You are not trying to be protected, child of God. You are not trying to get protection. You are not running elter skelter to get it. It is already provided for in God's word. Let's look at God's word. Psalm 91 from verse 1, beginning. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Amen. My God in Him will I trust. Verse 3, Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Somebody say surely. surely. That means it is certain. That God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4 He shall cover you with his feather, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5 Very, very interesting. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Amen. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Amen. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Amen. Nor for destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand. Somebody say a thousand. A Somebody say a thousand. a thousand. A thousand shall fall at your side. Amen. And ten thousand at your right hand. Amen. But it shall not come near you. Amen. I said it shall not come near you. Amen. Verse 8. Only with thy eyes. Come on. Somebody should be rejoicing at God's word. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm rejoicing at his word. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, most high your habitation. Verse 10. There shall no evil befall you. Oh, I thought nobody would shout a louder amen. amen. Neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. Amen. For he shall give his angels charge over you. To keep you in all your ways. Amen. They shall bear thee hope in their hands. Amen. Lest thou dash your foot against the stone. Amen. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and harder. Amen. The young lion and the dragon. Amen. Shall thou trample under, under feet. Oh, I took pain to read out to you God's word. 
glory. God's word said, no evil shall befall you. And I want you to believe God's word. I want you to believe it in totality. Whatever God says, that is what he will do. Whatever he says he's going to do, God is not a, the son of man that shakes out from his word. When a man gives you a word, you need to be sure. You need to be very careful. That is man, man's word. But with God's word, you can go to sleep. You can go to back. Whatever God's word says he will do, that is what he will do. That's why I love that song. What he says he will do. That is what he will do. Hell is Whatever God's word says God is going to do, that is what God is going to do. God has a plan for us as, a belie as believers. He has plans of protection for us. We are not trying to make that plan. We are not trying to make it work. <laughs> God already has a plan. Before the foundation of the world, he has already you know, planned our protection. And you need to be conscious of this man of of this of this of this world. If you are not conscious, you may lose the benefits. Many people are losing things they should not be losing because they don't even know it exists. Yeah, divine protection exists in God. You know, the world has painted a picture and make it look like it is only something that can protect you. Somebody somewhere, else. but God is the master protector. When God protects you, you can go to sleep. When God protects you, you can be rest assured that He will keep over you, He will keep over watch over you, and you and your family shall be saved. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. For I know, for I know. God has a plan. God has a purpose. God has a plan of protection for you. He knows the plans he has for you. It is not for you to die in an accident. It is not for you to die during coronavirus. That is God's plan for you. God's plan is that you and yours will live to declare the works of God. If I'm talking about you, let your amen be the loudest. Amen. God is able to keep us away from Hollywood. It doesn't matter how it is raging the world. It doesn't matter what is happening around us. He is able. Psalm 121 verse 3. Psalm 121. Suffer your foot to be moved. Oh, I thought you would say it louder. Amen. Amen. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keepeth you will not slumber. Oh, he that keepeth you will not slumber. Amen. Verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. No, the children of Israel were going in the wilderness. Three, over three million people left Egypt and they were going on their journey. <laughs> oh my God. In the wilderness, in the wilderness, we are lion dwells. We are elephant dwells. And those animals were running away from the people of God. Why? God was their shield. God was their buckler. Nations were destroyed because of them, but they were protected. What makes you think that God won't protect you? My dear, God is willing and able. Verse 7, verse, the Lord, verse 5, the Lord is thy, is thy keeper. The Lord is a shade upon thy right hand. Verse 6, the sun shall not smite you by day, Amen. nor the moon by night. Amen. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. Amen. The Lord shall preserve your going out Amen. and coming in Amen. from this time forth and even forevermore. Did you see that word? Yes, from this time forth, even for what? Evermore. 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 As long as you live, God has promised to keep you. Oh, he will never forget to keep you. Amen. I said, you. Yeah. The Lord will protect you. Yeah. The Lord will protect your children. Yeah. The Lord will protect your household. Yeah. The Lord will protect your job. Yeah. The Lord will protect your going out. Yeah. The Lord will protect your coming in. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. He has done it before. <laughs> he has done it before. Has he protected before? Yeah. He has. 
Is he doing it now? Yes. Will he do it tomorrow? Yes. He is a faithful God. He doesn't change his word. Whatever he says he will do, that is what he will do. He has told us that he will keep us from all the He will preserve us. I want you to stand on God's word this time and believe God with his word. Believe his word. How do I enforce divine provision? We don't have too much time because we need to pray. But I need to show you how to enforce divine protection. So that when you know how to enforce something, you know, you won't need to be scapling for, for the safety, you know, to be to be frightening, you know, to be fearful the way others are frightful. How do I enforce it for myself, for my family, for my business, for my career? How do you do it? Number one, be a lover of God's presence. Oh, you need to hear me now again. Be a lover. Love God's presence. Love it. You want God to protect you? Then love God. Love his presence. Psalm 91 verse 1. Very, very instructive. You know, you know, before I came to this understanding, I used to read this thing. But it doesn't occur to me that God is saying a lot in that one verse. Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. He that dwell, He that dwelleth. Where are you dwelling? Are you in God's presence? Are you a, are you a lover of God's presence? When last did you pray? I'm not talking about two minutes, one minute prayer. When last did you stay in his presence to worship him? People that will be guaranteed divine protection, divine cover, divine preservation are people that are lover of his presence. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Oh, how I love to dwell in his presence. Will you be in his presence just worshiping? Are you always in a hurry to get out of church? Are you always in a hurry to get out of the place of, of his worship? Are you always in a hurry to not to be not to be not to be no not to stay long in his presence? Will you begin to cultivate that habit? If divine prophet protection is what you want, then you don't have any other choice but to dwell in his presence. He that dwelleth. He somebody you need to convince yourself again and again that as I dwell in his presence. My protection is sure. As I dwell in his presence, as it becomes my dwelling place. Oh, no wonder. So, you know, Moses was saying something in Exodus 23. He said, if your presence will not go with us, do not carry us anywhere. Or may you not go where God's presence will not carry you. Many people just pack their bag and go to anywhere they like. That is dangerous. You need to secure God's presence first. And one of the best ways to secure God's presence is to dwell, dwell, stay. To dwell means to stay permanently. Kapotandia kapaya. To stay permanently in God's presence. That you become a lover. No, you are not worshipping God for things. You are not worshipping God for house. You are not worshipping God for clothes. You are worshipping God because you just love God. You just want to stay in His presence. You want to have fellowship with God. Do you know God? Do you know Him? Does He know you? Glory to God. If God doesn't know you, it will make no difference when you need divine protection. Glory to God. The God that you don't know, what can you become? Some people, when little things happen, they say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Have you met Jesus? Do you have accepted Jesus as your Lord personal Savior? If not, the shouting the name Jesus may not deliver you. He that dwell, he that dwell, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Love God. I want to challenge you as we end, as we have entered the second half of the year. Increase your love temple. Increase your love work with God. Love Him. Love His presence. Love everything that God stands for. Love His house. Love your church. Love your pastor. Love the people of God. Love. Love. Love is your upgrade to the level of divine protection. Love His work. Love whatever concerns God. Glory to God. 
love God, love everything that has to go, to do with God. Your love for God guarantees your divine protection. When you love God, when you love his house, when you love his presence, then you are sure. You are not the one keeping yourself. Don't you ever make that mistake. You are too small to keep yourself from evil. You are too small to keep yourself from being infected with, with this coronavirus. But God is your shield. God is your buckler. That is when you love him. Do you love God? Do you love God? I want to help, I want to, you know, you know, begin to you to come to that consciousness where you know that the love of God is what will deliver me. You cannot go to any lengths to protect yourself. You can't. And what do, do you know what? God can go to any length to protect his lover. When you are a lover of God, he will protect you. God protected Daniel in the lion's day. Oh my God. They made up their mind that they want, they want to see the end of Daniel. They said, okay, we are going to put you in line. Nobody should pray. And because we prayed, we are going to send you into the lion's den. I love what the Bible says in Daniel chapter 6, verse 21. Daniel chapter 6, verse 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O oh, king, live forever. My God. Oh my, I, I love that. I love that person, personification. Can you call God your God? <laughs> Is God your God or our God? My God hath sent his angel and hath shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before the Yokim, have I done what? My God, my God, has sent his angel. God can send his angel to keep you. God unusually releases his angel to keep his lover. Are you a lover of God? God also protected the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. Their faith was fulfilled and delivered. They were to be thrown into that fiery furnace. And they even told the king, they boasted before the king. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, they called the king by his name. Because they know the God they are serving. They said, oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer you in this matter at all. Our God that we serve will protect us, will keep us. Even though you are throwing us into this fire, the king was very, very angry. He said they should increase the tenacity and the and the, the, the of, of the wire. He, they threw them into that <laughs> into that fire. And when they threw them into that fire, what happened? Look at what happened. Daniel chapter 3, verse 21. Look at what then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hearts, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took <laughs> up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The tenacity of the fire <laughs> oh, slew people that were throwing them and the people that were thrown into fire were not burnt. What a mighty God we serve. Verse 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and said to his counselor, Did we not cast three people into the fire? <laughs> you want God to go with you into your fire? Then begin to serve him, begin to love him. Glory to God. Verse 25. Lo, I see four men, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. You want to walk in the midst of the fire of life without getting burnt? Then you need to get God on your side. When God is on your side, your divine protection will be sure. When God is on your side, it will ensure that he stays with you in the fire and that you are insured against fire. I have never seen that kind before. Ordinary small fire, go and put your hand in it. It will burn you. Not to talk about, about fiery furnace. Fiery furnace that was, that was made to be burning. But God protected his own from there. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, came near, verse 26. To the mouth of the burning fiery funny and say, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servant of the most high God, come forth and come thither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth from the midst of the fire. I pray for you today, you will come out of the fire. Amen. Whatever fire you are going through right now, come out now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever fire the devil has put you, 
I don't care what it is. Whatever trouble the devil has put you. Today I stand as the voice of God. And I proclaim your liberty in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every fiery furnace in your life I quench it by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Come out of every fire. Come out of every fire. Come out of every fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you still with me? How do I enforce divine protection, divine preservation, divine covering? Number two, do not give it, give it into fear. Don't fear. This is very, very important. If you are going to enjoy divine protection, don't give it to fear. Oh, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, but of power, but of a sound mind. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Fear is not your portion. Fear is not what you should be allowing in your life. Get off fear. Get it off your life. Oh, verse 27, Psalm verse 27. Psalm 27, verse 1. The book of Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, my verse 2, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come, came up to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Amen. Though an oath should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Amen. Though war should rise against me, Amen. in this will I be confident. Amen. Don't throw your confidence away. Amen. Don't panic. Amen. You know, the news is released from time to time. The number is increasing. They are saying this. They are saying that. You are hearing that this one have died. No, but they, it doesn't matter how many people are dying. You will not die. Amen. The Lord will protect you. Amen. The Lord will cover you. Amen. Please don't give it, give it to fear. Fear, you, fear usually tears your covering. That's what it does. When the devil notices that you are fearful, then God may be powerless over your life. Don't allow the devil to have a foothold. Fear gives the devil a foothold into your life. When you begin to fear, it is like calling the devil to come quickly, to come and finish you. But when you say in boldness, look at the two examples I gave you. Daniel was confident that God would deliver him. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they knew. They, said, they were telling the king, Oh Nebuchadnezzar, they call him by his first name. Oh Nebuchadnezzar, even if our God will not deliver, they, and they know that their God does not sleep nor slumber, that he will deliver them. Don't give in to fear. It is what you are fearing that is killing you. Many people die out of fear than the real thing. I remember an incident that happened in the city of Lagos, where I live, around 2003, thereabouts, if I'm correct. And um, there was a bomb blast in Ikeja. In Ikeja. And I, I, we may not, if you don't live in Lagos, you may not know, you know what I'm trying to, you may not know the distance. And the people were running in Ejigo. They were running into Kana, to a river. And as they are entering, all of them died inside. And people, some people that lived in Ikeja did not die. <laughs> Where the thing was happening, they were running. They started, they were hearing voices. They were hearing sounding, sounds. And they started running. And as they were running, they were running into a river. And then some could not swim. And so there's no way they could swim out. And all of them perished in that river. Why? Fear. What is what you are fearing is fearing you. You are a Christian. You are a child of God. My dear, you increase your boldness at this time. Develop your courage. Don't lose your confidence and courage because of the evil news you are hearing. No, there's nothing that we can do about evil news. Thousands shall fall at your side. Yeah. Ten thousand shall fall by your, at your left side, at your right side. But it shall not come near you. That is what, we, that is what God said. Yeah. I, I choose to believe God's word. I don't know. He said, Psalm 91 verse 8, he said, Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Are you a wicked man? If you are not wicked, why are you getting yourself worked up? Stay in God's presence. Love God's presence. You know, don't, don't give in to unnecessary fear. I see God help 
Yeah. You want divine protection. Number three, because of my time, I need to go fast. Because we need to pray. You want divine protection? Discover God's word on protection. Get God's word. Gather scriptures on protection. What do you base your confidence on? I am talking to you based on the word of God. That's what I'm sharing. I am not sharing with you this morning, you no know, fable or thing that I conjure. I am showing you from, I am not saying anything than God's word. And it's important you understand. Those are the things that I gathered, that God showed me. What scripture are you standing on? What do you know? The only thing you know is what your pastor told you. It may fail you at this time. Glory to God. There is need for personal discovery. Your personal discovery is what will lead you to your personal recovery. What do you say? Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law, this book of shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it. Go to God's word. Go and begin to guard that description. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Thy words were found. Go and find out what God has written concerning you about divine protection. If you don't know, there is nothing to do that will give you confidence. I am confident in God's word. Psalm 91 is for me. When God was writing that scripture, it only has my name. I don't know whether it has your name. You can put your name. He said, in my, I will trust the he that dwelleth in this. And I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. The word alone gives me confidence. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing. My dear, go and begin to gather God's word. The great woman of God, Kenneth, you know, Gloria, you know, I, I can't remember the exact woman of God now, that was sick at a point and gather scriptures. So many examples of people that God has protected because they can lay hold on God's word. If I ask you, why, what are you basing your divine protection on? Eh, eh, you know, God said, no, don't, no, 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 no. You go and get, Bible is, is not a secret book. It's an open book. When you open it, it will open for you. Go and get God's word. God is committed to his word. God, when you get God's word and you send it back to him, like I've, been, I, I've learned to do, he will not, he cannot judge his word. You know, when, you be, when you ask them, eh, Chebi, you said you're going to give me 5,000. So when I, that day, you said you're going to give me, ah, eh, I said it. I said I'm going to give you, ah, okay, sorry. So I don't have 5,000. That's woman being for you. He can deny what he has said. Ah, where did I say that? Did I say that? With my mouth? Who was there when I was saying it? No, 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 nobody. nobody. Ah, no, I didn't say it. But not God. Whatever God said he will do for us, he has capacity to do it, and he will do it. You know, to protect all of us is not a big deal to God. Oh my God. <laughs> Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. For very I say unto you, till heaven and heart pass, one jot, one tittle, shall in no way, no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. God is able to keep his word. Go and get his word. Let me say it again. Your discovery is your recovery. If you want to recover, then get God's word. What do you do when you have when you have gotten God's word? Begin to meditate on God's word. What does what do we mean when you say you should meditate? Think about it again and again. Let it fill you. Now, when you begin to hear news, then the word of God that you have been thinking about will begin to overshadow the news. When you don't have anything to overshadow the news, you will live in fear. When they tell you, oh, ten people die. <laughs> Uh, and fear has torment. See, fear can torment you if you don't know God's word. That's why you need to get yourself to the level of knowing God's word. Number four, we don't have too much of time. Number four, confess God's word. Oh my God. Confess God's word. The word of God that you saw, that you discover, that you didn't confess, does not have power to protect you. Put God's word in your mouth. Now, the you know, major things we do with God's word, number one, get God's word. Discover God's word. Are you getting me? Meditate on God's word. Then put the word of God in your mouth. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your but shall meditate in it that you may observe. To do according to all that is written, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. You may observe. 
then in your, you need to put God's word in your mouth. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. It's good. By the fruit of his leaves. Don't stop confessing God's word. As you are hearing the word, as you are hearing everything that is happening, my dear, don't stop confession of God's word. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. Please understand that your confession is your possession. Oh, your confession is what? Your possession. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that has promised. Whatever he said he's going to do, that is what he will do. I like to sing that song. What he says he will do, that is what he will do. What he says he's going to do is what he's going to do. If he tells you that he's going to protect you, you can take it to the bank. You can go and have your rest. I pray for you today, the word of, God, of your mouth will not fail you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please understand that it is what you say that we see. If what you are saying around it, ah, ah, my, my enemy will die. My, okay, my enemy will die. But for me, I will not die. Say what you want to see. Not, don't say what is happening around you. The devil wants people to go into panic mode by the use of their... If, maybe I need to tell you. It is what you say today that we see tomorrow. In case somebody needs to change his attitude or attitude to the word of the mouth. What are you saying? What are you saying? Are you sharing the news? Some people will even be sending the bad news. They will say forward to 10 people. But, and you are forwarding evil. May you not join them that forward evil. Let that evil news die with you. Don't say it. Don't repeat it. Don't, if you don't want to die, they are dead. Don't say what they are saying. My dear, don't stop saying what they are saying. Say what God has, what's what I've said. She cannot. I don't want to see any other thing. I am protected. Members of my family, my church are protected. Everyone around me are protected. That is what I want to say. I don't want to say any other thing. I am not interested in what is going on around I am interested in God's word, and God's word will work for me. I see God's word working for you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I see God's word working for you Amen. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What are we going to do to enforce God's word? Number five. I'm going to give you six. I'm in number five right now. Live by wisdom. You want to enforce divine protection. Live by wisdom. There is one proverb in my dialect. That I I will say this one. I will say it and I will interpret. For long and short, too long for you to forget. Too long for you to forget. I don't know what will happen to her. What am I saying? For long and short, went to you know you know palm tree, went to carry the back uh, the back of a banana, peel it and then tie it to climb a palm tree. What will happen to For long and short? For long and short may not even get to the top of the family before he die. Because if we fall down, glory to God. In this time that we live, you need to live by wisdom. I saw something that wisdom will do for you. Wisdom is not foolishness. Faith is not foolishness. Some people, I have faith. I have, I mean, I'm a child of God. God has given me his word. God has given you his word not to be foolish. God did not ask you to go and be foolish. He gave you his word for you to, to take his word in your mouth and then live by wisdom. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 5. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Look at what he will do for you. Verse 6. Forsake her not. Do not forsake wisdom. What will he should do for you? And she shall preserve you. She shall preserve you. Love wisdom. And she shall keep you. <laughs> when you love wisdom, you are kept. When you don't love wisdom, she will not preserve you. Deliver you, she not protect you. Don't joke with wisdom. Don't joke with government regulation concerning COVID-19. Whatever they say you should stay, do. If they, if they say social distancing, do social distancing. Doing social distancing is not an act of foolishness. It's an act of faith. Glory to God. Wash your mouth, your, your hand regularly. It's an act, act of faith. 
don't be don't be don't, don't joke with with, uh, with 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 government regulation whatever they say we should we should do now let's do it that is wisdom are you getting me now are you hearing me don't say i have a lot of faith i can there is no, some people are even saying there's no not i'm not saying there's nothing i'm saying that you can be protected from whatever it is I'm not saying there is no COVID-19. I'm saying even though there is COVID-19, God will protect me and my family. God will protect you and your family. That's what I'm saying. But if God is going to do it, we're going to enforce that, then we need to live by wisdom. If you don't have any business outside, stay at home. That's it. That is God's wisdom. God is the one that has instituted the government. He puts them there. So whatever they are saying there, it is God that is speaking through them. You don't have to argue that. Whatever the government says you should do, why not do it? Don't expose yourself to evil. Don't go where God can reach you. Don't go. Don't go. Don't just be going on a journey that God can reach you. We all watch where you go. Keep yourself. When you keep yourself, you have given God permission to keep you. Hmm? When you keep yourself, you have given God what? Permission to keep you. Don't live carelessly. Don't live carelessly. Don't eat carelessly. Some people, they, in, in the guise of divine protection, yeah, this is not a kill African man. And then you begin to eat rubbish. Don't eat anyhow. Don't eat care don't drive carelessly. Ah, you can't have, you can't be driving rubbish and then you, you two car your car and then you are driving as if you want to go and die. Then you say man, God will give the same charge over you. No, oh, that is stupidity. God does not or, or no stamp stupidity. God, God, may God not turn his back on you. Amen. Don't drive carelessly. When you are on the road, drive well. Drive sensibly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Be cautious of the environment. Be cautious of where you, don't put yourself in a danger in danger zone and be saying, My God will protect me. You know, somebody who told me a story. I, I, I even grew up. I, I think I had the story when I was growing up. A, a certain man said uh, he wanted to do like that. That he would go to he would go to zoo, he would go to zoo somewhere. Go and, they should throw him inside the lion's den. And then they threw him there. There, immediately they got in, got into the lion's den because God didn't send him. Don't go to where God didn't send you. You don't have any point to prove to anybody. Glory to God. The lion did not even allow him to land. Under five minutes, they finish it. Glory to God. They finish it. They finish it. My dear, don't go to where God has not sent you. Don't be posing and say, because you have God's own, because you don't. Then you now throw away caution. You throw away wisdom. Let's live by wisdom. Be cautious, be mindful of your security. Eh? Boot your door. Close your door very well. Eh? The door of your car, the door of your house, the door of your office, the door of your businesses. Make sure you put good key. Eh? Don't say, God is my security. God is my security. No, no, no. God is your security, I know. I know that God, but whatever man can do, eh, that will, you know, that will hate the work of God, man should do it. Be safety conscious. Wherever you go, be safety conscious. Don't go and put yourself where God can reach you. I don't want to talk too much this morning about that, but you know that I'm talking, I'm speaking the truth to you, that you should put yourself where God can reach you. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lastly, this morning, you want to enjoy divine protection, honor your parents. Honor your parents. Why are you saying this one? No, it is God's word. It is God's word. God was said, honor your parents. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Exodus 20, 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God liveth, giveth thee. If you want your days to be long here, yeah. if you want to stay here long, honor your parents. Is the is God's commandment for divine protection and preservation and long life. If you want long life, if you want to stay here longer, in good health, then honor your parents. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2. Ephesians 6, 2. Honor thy father and your mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you. If you want it to be well with you, then honor your parents. Your spiritual parents, your physical parents, honor them. Honor them. Honor your pastor. Don't, don't, don't treat them with dishonor. Each time you treat your pastor and your parent with dishonor, you are tearing the covering of protection over your life. Don't do that. Dishonoring your parents, remove God's cover from your life. I see God helping you. Whatever you need to do to honor your parents, begin to do. Give to them. The way you speak to them. 
Some people, because they are not dependent no more on their parents, they begin to talk anyhow to their parents. Honor your parents. I see God helping you. Amen. I think we need to pray right now because I know God must have eaten with his word this morning. And then you are blessed already. Lift your hands. From all over the world, lift your hand and begin to talk to God. Lord, I receive grace for divine protection. Uncommon protection is my portion. Someone just what in your mouth this morning. Uncommon protection is my portion. I have prote I'm protected from all evil of life. I am protected from all evil of life. Speak to God about yourself. You can't afford to keep quiet at this time. Lord, I am divinely protected. My job is protected. My businesses are protected. My homes are protected. My families are protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will keep me from all evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will keep me from all evil. In the name of Jesus, no evil will befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will give his changes charge over me. They will keep me in all of their ways. In the name of Jesus, Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Somebody declare God's word with me and say, Lord, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Somebody lift your voice and begin to put God's word in your mouth. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. My children dwell in the peace of the Most High. My family dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil will befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling. No evil will befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling. I dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. No evil occurrence around me. In the name of Jesus, there shall no evil befall me. There shall no evil befall my family. There shall no evil befall my ministry. There shall no evil befall my children. There shall no evil befall our church in the mighty name of Jesus. May tu abe suketega ye goli bronne modu sekrenia ye kopale prodoza in balaba in the name of Jesus Christ we are praying. Verse 2 Psalm 91 verse 2. We are praying from that place today. Psalm 91 verse, verse 3 sorry verse 3. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler Amen. and from the noisome pestilence. He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler Amen. and from the noisome pestilence. Amen. I want somebody to put God's word in his mouth and say, Lord, deliver me, O God, from the snare of the fowler. This second half of the year, deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from every noisome pestilence. Deliver me from COVID-19. Deliver me from every noisome pestilence. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. Deliver my church, our church member. Deliver me, oh God, oh God, from noisome pestilence. Oh In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Father, deliver me from the noise and pestilence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. Psalm 91, verse 4. He shall cover me with his feathers. Under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I want you to put God's word in your mouth this morning and declare this word over your life and ministry, your life and business your life and family. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. Cover, me with your cover me with your feathers. Let me begin to trust in your, in your wings. Let me dwell under your wings. I dwell under your wings from today. I dwell under your covering from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, cover me with your wings, oh God. Cover me with your wings, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Cover me with your feather. Cover my businesses with your feather. Cover my ministry with your feather. Cover our church with your feather. In the name of Jesus. Cover my family with your feather. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will be my shield and buckler. You will be my shield and buckler. In the 
the name of Jesus. Matepoli pregadiga zondo loboza. Mekapoli mangla tuzagari bakaya. Igro de bozegene. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. We he said, I shall, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Who is not going to be afraid? Somebody say, I. I Somebody say, I shall not be afraid. Not be afraid. By, terror? by terror? Of terror by night? Terror. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. No destruction that wasted at noonday. Put God's word in your mouth and begin to declare it. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the person that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Ah, my life will not be wasted. My life is shielded. The life of my children and family are shielded. In the name of Jesus, I am delivered, I'm covered. In the name of Jesus, my church members are covered. In the name of Jesus, everyone I love, everyone that loves me, they are covered, they are shielded. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be afraid. I shall not be afraid for the terror by now, nor for the arrow that fly by day. In the name of Jesus, pestilence shall not come near me. COVID-19 will not come near my habitation. In the name of Jesus, Maloto Posikata, Iko Brona Mando Sopro. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. A thousand shall fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand. Amen. But it shall not come near you. Amen. Somebody say it shall not come near me. Amen. Somebody say no evil shall come near no me. Evil shall Somebody say no evil shall come near my family. No Somebody say no evil shall come near my, near my church. No In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and begin to declare it. No evil shall come near me. In the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall come near me. Masato Gabalaba. Ragada Galaba. A thousand shall fall at my side. And 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. No evil shall come near me. No evil shall come near my children. I kapo sotoma, I kapo satamo, ba besuto ni brada. Ge 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 ge. La bangwa dagada, ya dada buka tapaye. Ni garua bagada, ge 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 ge. Ria bagaba. No evil shall be for me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus. Robian gada, do bengere, bre be de ge do liga baraba. Si zabu no mudu zaraba. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. I want us to see verse 10. Two more prayer points, and we shall be we shall be closing now. Two more prayer points. Verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. I want you to put God's word in your mouth this morning and pray. Say, Oh Lord God, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. Lift your voice and begin to declare to Jesus. No evil shall befall me. As I enter, as I've entered the second year half of this year, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall befall me. Me, no place shall come near my dwelling, for you give your angels charge over me. In the name of Jesus, no evil shall befall my family. No evil shall befall my family. No evil shall befall our church. No place shall come near us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. We're going to pray. Lastly, this morning, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over you. To keep you in all thy ways. Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash in your foot against the stone. The ministry of the angels can never be overemphasized. Angel, Bible says, angel excel in strength. Bible was talking, he said, Are they not ministering spirits? Sent forth to minister to the years of salvation. Angels excel in strength. They can carry you. Amen. No matter what is happening. Amen. They can move you. Amen. 
They are faster than the fastest aeroplane. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are they are swifter. They have speed. They have strength. I want us to dispatch the angels of God. Go everywhere I go. Let your angels carry. Let your angels carry. You will Father, give your angels time. Angel begin to carry my children and my wife and my home in the name of Jesus. Give your angels charge over me. Give your angels in my journeys. Wherever I am, wherever I stand, angel begin to serve me. Begin to serve me. Ensure that no evil befall me. Ensure. Move evil away. Move me away from evil. In the name of Jesus. Give your angels charge over me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Give your angels charge over me. Give your angels charge over me. Give your angels charge over me. In the name of Jesus. Give your angels charge over me. Give your angels charge over me. In Jesus mighty name. We are praying. It is well with you. Amen. You are secure. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are covered. Amen. No evil will befall you. Amen. No plague will come near your dwelling. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The Lord will give his angel charge over you. Amen. The remaining days of this year, no evil will be mentioned around you. Amen. No evil will be mentioned concerning you. Amen. Everywhere you go, you are covered. Amen. Everywhere you find yourself, you are covered. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God rests upon you. Amen. No evil will befall you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For God will give his angel charge over you. Amen. You will not see evil. Amen. I say you will not see evil. Amen. Your children will not see evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you really good. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It has been my pleasure to, to be with you since 6 o'clock this morning. And I want to celebrate your life. I want to celebrate the grace of God upon your life. Before I go this morning, I want to give an opportunity for somebody that has not met Jesus. Jesus is your protector. And when you don't know Jesus, what happened to your protection? Jesus is the one that can protect you. I want you to you know, come to Jesus today. Whatever anybody gives you as protection cannot do what Jesus will do for you. They will give you sham. It will fail. It is only Jesus that cannot fail. Whatever they give you, they, they, they put incision in your body. They think that you, with that you are covered. No. No. It is only the covering by Jesus that will not fail. That's why I'm inviting you to give your life to Jesus Christ today. When you give your life to Jesus, everything I've said since morning, you'll be able to enjoy it. That is when you come under the covering of Jesus. You want to give your heart to Jesus today. Jesus is calling on you today. Today is the day of your salvation. You want to pray that prayer with me? Just with a single prayer, your sins will be forgiven and then your name will be written in the book of life. Put your right hand on your chest. You want to enjoy eternity with God? Please put your right hand on your chest. Let us pray this prayer together. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of life from today. I give my heart to you Amen. and I confess you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I forsake sin and Satan from today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You, have, you have just joined the family of God and I congratulate you for joining the family of God. Look for a Bible believing church around where you live. Tell the pastor that I said you should come and meet him, that you just gave your heart to Jesus. He will, he will guide you. And it will ensure that you don't slide back to your sin. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this one that I've given their heart to Jesus. I ask that your grace keep them. Watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This one will not go back to their sin. This one will stand solidly even in your kingdom. They will be useful instruments even in your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. What a time we have had today. It's been God blessing us all the way. And I'm grateful to God for your life that you are, part, you, are, you are able to be a part of this broadcast. The Lord bless you and lift you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The remaining part of this day shall answer for you. No evil will befall you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please understand that the media prayer and word conference continues this evening by 6 p.m. God's servant will be joining us. Pastor Kayo Dayodele will be joining us all the way from you no, know, from the city of Lagos. You no, know, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm excited because God Glory. is going to do Glory. amazing thing Glory. in our midst this Glory. evening. Glory. What will you do now? Begin to invite your friend. Please tell them about what God is doing even on this platform. And I look forward to receiving you with your friends and family this evening by 6 p.m. God bless you. God increase you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Do have a good day today. Amen.